Yo, Hector, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. How to add custom PSP themes to Adrenaline. Oh, it's very easy. It's super, it's stupid easy, actually. Uh, you will have to set up that plugin, though. You have to have the CXMB plugin. Um, let's check out this really cool website. Uh, this is by far one of the best websites for PSP themes. And this is called the PSPpunk.com. FileZilla. Let's open up FileZilla real quick. And I'll connect my PS Vita uh, to this real fast. So let's... I'm going to exit out of here. But let's just get this going here. Desktop. We'll uh, quick connect to the Vita. There we go. Is that better, guys? I hope that that works. Can you see that a lot better? Because some of these I can't really resize. I, I don't think I can in in uh, FileZilla. But you can see what we're doing here. Anyways, let's go into copying these themes over i'm gonna try to copy some of these uh i i'm not sure if these will have to be converted because some of them are like 6.20 some are 6.60 oh there's that xbox 360 theme okay we'll we'll definitely do that one can you see that okay let's right click and copy this one and we will go to our uxo folder so when you install this you should have a psp dot i'm sorry not dot but uh, you should have a psp emu folder this is your adrenaline main folder so we'll open that baby up and we'll go to our psp folder and just throw it into themes here Oh, it's already in here? Yeah. Um, some of these themes might not show up because they're not converted. Meaning that they're, they're, run, they're run off old firmware. And what you basically have to do is, uh, is change it to 6.60 like this. It has to look like that. All right, I'll show you one more time. Okay, so you have the view option, you have home. Usually you'll be by default looking at these options, like delete, copy, or whatever. And uh, you can hit this little corner arrow, so to expand the ribbon. I think by default it looks like this, right? Just hit the view one time, go to options, and you change your... <clears throat> Your view options go under view and then go to hidden files and folders and you should have show hidden files folders and drives by default it's going to be under don't show hidden files and hit the apply ok and you'll be good to go hey Robles are these Vita themes or for adrenaline these are for adrenaline uh, for the actual PSP but I'm just just kind of showing you how to get it done for adrenaline for your PS Vita because this is very popular these themes so yeah once you have that going let's go back to the mainstream whereas there's my auto plugins 2 auto plugins 2 does have plugins for the PSP that you can install there it is PSP plugins adrenaline you can install the free plugin uh, the NPDRM install remaster controls from the official flow PSP plugins for adrenaline and here you can just press X to install the CXMB and it should do everything automatically there's not a whole lot of plugins, but it's enough for us to 
get what we need to get done on the on, on adrenaline this is an experimental plugin for adrenaline version 7.0 that allows you to play a few games in native resolution we have to get that and the cxmb allows users to use custom themes S STF themes and PSP themes. So yeah, auto plugins too. Get this, and you can easily install the CXMB4 Adrenaline. Copy over those themes into that folder that I showed you earlier, and you should be up and running. Let's exit. I don't think you have to reset. You don't have to reset uh, the PS Vita when you're installing these PSP plugins. So that's a plus. Whoops. Let's go to uh, where's adrenaline? Oh, I already have it open. You're welcome, my good sir. What about the dual analog PSP plugin? Mmm. You can try it. You can definitely try it. Let's see if I got that in here. Oh, we did. Yeah, there's a bunch of themes in here, but they're not showing up because they're not the correct version. And I'm going to have to cover that in another video to help you guys out on that. That's a problem I have to really discuss. Is that on here? That'd be great if it was. There it is. All right. So, yeah, they are showing up. Okay, good. I thought so. I have I haven't messed with this in a while, so let's check out the 360. We'll do this real quick, and then we'll do the flower, the one we just copied over. The flower one is nice. That was the first ever live theme <clears throat> I installed on my PSP a long time ago. But yeah, there it is. There's the kind of cheesy, but eh, it's all right. Always thought that was cool. Let's go back and we'll take a look at the uh, flower theme. This this one, guys, really impressed me. And ever since I I had this one downloaded and installed, I had to look for more. I was like, there's got to be more out there. And there was a whole bunch of them. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, it's one of those, it's one of the themes that's, uh, that's corrupt. Shit. Damn. All right. Well, I'm, this is a great opportunity to show you guys how to solve this problem. Okay. If you get a theme that does that, what you want to do is... Run Adrenaline one more time. Let's open this up here. It's going to freeze again. I know for a fact it's going to freeze because... Oh, God. Some of these themes are just not... Damn. That that virus really got to those... Uh, I don't know. Something happened where the themes, they just freeze the PSP. And it's going to freeze now. Yep. Okay. Easy fix, though. Easy. I'm master of PSP, guys. But you can access the recovery menu just by holding the R button. So as soon as you hit that start, hold the R button. When I download the PSP games, do I have to unzip it? Yes, sometimes you do. Sometimes yes. Ah, the classic 360 layout, he says. Unfortunately, I never had a chance to experience that, so. Hold, 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 hold. Boom. And there we go. We are in our recovery menu. So if you are having adrenaline issues where you can't actually access that you might have installed a weird plugin that doesn't work or like for me example the theme is corrupt what i'll have to do now is i'll have to disable that plugin right so we'll disable that and we will 
Whoops. Ooh. We'll just exit out of here. It will reboot Adrenaline into the uh, normal, uh, the default settings for Adrenaline. And now we have the wallpaper of that theme. But now it's time to get rid of that theme. And <clears throat> once you're in here, you have to get rid of that theme because it's going to continue to give you that issue. So what you want to do is delete that. Or I guess not. You can't really delete it. Hopefully you have some default themes. See, this is this is another video I got to talk about. This is um, I highly recommend people getting any type of original themes installed because this is one of one of the big problems and issues I've been having with the PSP and through adrenaline is some of these themes either are corrupt number one number two they're not up to a certain version like they're not compatible with that firmware that we're using this happens a lot with the PSP but on adrenaline it's different it's like all of them work and then they don't want to boot into it it's it's very strange but before you even start doing the whole uh, custom themes installation make sure to have some of these original themes available that way if you come across the issue that I'm having today you can just apply a different theme like the Patapon 2 theme right we're importing that, that theme awesome and we can let's see if we can reload this let's go whoops let's go back into recovery menu hold on here you can go back by pressing the select button to access your VSH menu go to uh, recovery and we will re-enable that plugin right and we'll exit, it'll reboot. If it freezes again, then yeah, see now this is a problem. It's it's gonna freeze again on me. I've this is a this is whoops. Yeah, this is I have to make a video on this like ASAP. The PS feeder just just restarted on me. It didn't like what was going on, so it, it had to reboot. Oh, unfortunate. Actually, no, that's good. There we go. See, now my PS4 wasn't working. I have to disable the Bluetooth. The struggle of having homebrew on your PS Vita. How exciting. Let me go back to the... To the Vita. Yeah, I'm not liking this one bit. And that's why I didn't install all 40 or 50 of my themes because I knew this was going to happen. I already, I already knew this was going to I totally forgot about this. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm, uh, man, it's not, it's not because the, it's not, <laughs> the fact is not the themes aren't working for adrenaline. It's the fact that my files are messed up. And I completely forgot about that. It's it's so annoying how it does that. It's a weird little bug that I have to do. Like I have to constantly change the setup here. And I have to restart everything and make sure that it's refreshed. That that custom theme will no longer show up. And I have to delete it. And it doesn't. It's such a weird little problem that it doesn't, uh, like here we had the custom theme as the Patapon, but when I restarted it, it went back into the flower theme, which doesn't make any sense. It's, it's an ongoing issue with uh, my PSP setup. But hopefully that will fix the issue. Uh, oh yeah, plugins. Let's enable that. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't load back into that damn theme. Nothing wrong with a little. Ba oh, oh, that's not good. So 
So now, hmm, I'm trying to remember what I did with my PSP. So I went into, did I delete the file entirely or how did I do that? Because I fixed it on my PSP. This is the first time I'm doing this on the on Adrenaline. God, I, I totally forgot, man, that these files are just not... I have to re... retest them on a original PSP before I transfer them over. Oh, this is annoying. Okay. We'll go back. We'll, we'll exit out of here. But this is a good little learning experience i guess uh, i'm gonna open up my ps vita shell vita shell we'll delete that custom theme entirely go to uxo go to the psp emu folder let's go to psp themes and the flower dynamic Get your ass out of here. All right. Get your ass off my memory card, boy. And go back to the VSH to recovery. And re enable that plugin. Hopefully, 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 thank God it worked. <laughs> okay, so we had to delete that file. We had to get rid of, rid of it completely. With Adrenaline, it's actually a lot easier. Through the PSP, it's a pain in the ass because you have to delete the file. But even after you delete it, that, that theme is still sitting there. And I'm not understanding why it continues to do that. But yeah, that's enough for themes, I guess. Does anyone have any questions or whatever regarding themes? I'm going to go back and, and take a look at some of the, the latest releases here for, for the Vita real quick. <clears throat> 